<laughs> Love when the truck slides backwards on the brakes. <laughs> Adventure. So I'm going to go up the middle. So we're out for a couple of days camping and four-wheel driving and we're about 20 minutes out of Gembrook at the moment and the plan for the next couple of days is to go into Bunyip State Park um, and we're going to drive uh, Gentle Annie at least and some of the other tracks in the area and then we might head over to Nuji. We're going to go to the trout farm too, I'm very excited by that. This is the kiln behind me at uh, Kurth Kiln and it was used to produce charcoal to uh, power cars during World War II when there was a fuel shortage, which I thought was really interesting. Doesn't look very practical, but...
Oh, they're not very wide open. Boy. <laughs> Lines. <laughs> Knew it. Not. Very look at look at the bloody rails they put in here too. They really Lots. don't want you in there. Yeah. They really don't want you in there. Lots more rails. <laughs> We've um, just driven up Anderson's track, which was a steep but easy drive. Um, it'd be interesting in the wet, and we got to the top of that and then turned right onto Bunyip Ridge Range track. And that was a bit the same, except in reverse, and we came down it, and again, it'd be a bit interesting in the wet. It was no trouble at all in the dry. Oh, hello. Hmm, yeah. Or yesterday. There's your gate. So now we want to go left. Got stopped at the gate here. Are we? Yeah. We're getting go right here. Oh, oh! Okay, in the freeway. Yeah. There. Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense to me. Now we want to go left. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, remember we came in here and we stopped there? Yeah. And the fires were on. Oh, yeah. Okay, I know where we are then. Yeah. We've just turned left onto Tea Tree Track, which is the part of Gentle Annie that we've decided to start on. There are a couple of ways in. Uh, this was just the most convenient way from where we are. 
So uh, let's see what General Annie has to, to do. Okay, so that should be the MVO and we should be able to go right up here. See that? Yeah, this would be particularly interesting when it's wet. I'm glad it's not. Me too. Oh my god. That's still muddy in there though. Yeah. Just try and stay along here where you can. I don't think I might need to twiddle it. Low, low range, range yeah. dude. Yeah. A moment. <laughs> Mid <-tease> moment. <laughs> Love when the truck slides backwards on the brakes. <laughs> Let's go at low range. Here comes Glenn. He's going to try and come close to the tree trunk over here because over there there's a massive hole. So we've just turned right onto Gentle Annie itself, so uh, we'll see what this has to uh, show for us. Oh! <laughs> More fun and games. Right, yeah, go on. We're going to go up to the right, just like everybody else. 
having a walk on Gentle Annie checking out to see which might be the best way to go to the right looks okay or if you want a bit of a rock climb you can go to the left so choose your own adventure So I'm going to go up the middle. Nice and steady. Just around the corner from that uh, section I just drove up, we found this, which looks a little interesting. Chris is going to give it a go. Um, I think it looks harder than it is. We'll see what happens. And Clarissa's asked me if I'll spot her up, but I think she'll be okay. Key to driving this one is getting the right hand wheel or oh, those white scrape marks are on the track on the rock bed. Just climbing the final track up to the top of Gentle Annie, and I'm guessing there might be a trick up here. We'll have a look. Woohoo! This is the bottom end of Gentle Annie. Um, we've just driven the whole lot of it. Um, the loop actually continues around on that tea tree track. So we're going to go and actually drive that section. But this is actually the bottom of it. At the intersection of Bunyip Road, which is over here. And Gentle Annie. Um, that wasn't a bad drive. My assessment of it is there's some hard stuff in there if you want to drive it. But there's also chicken tracks around just about everything. What's in there? Road. I thought it was a clearing. Yeah, there's so many roads. Forest. Tea tree track, hard right. No, not today's track. Oh. oh. Yeah. It's closed. Well, 
Hang the on. plan was to go and drive uh, the rest of Tea Tree Track, which is actually marked on the National Park's forward driving uh, map as being open, but apparently it's closed. So let's go with plan B. Where to now? <laughs> we were going to drive uh, the rest of Tea Tree Track, which is behind, this, behind me here. Um, we drove a little bit of it earlier. Um, but it's closed due to the bushfires that they had about two years ago and a whole bunch of things in this park are closed because of those bushfires. Um, most of the campsites in here are closed. Uh, so we're going to drive another loop that's on the National Parks map and we'll see uh, what it has, that has to offer. This is the Rocky Track, and it heads on to Robertson Track. We were going to go up Birrell Track, but uh, or Birrilli Track, but it was closed. So we're going to go up Rocky Track, uh, and then on to Robertson. <laughs> Over here? Yeah. Where are we going up there or not? Big rock. I suppose you've got the option to go, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so. We just drove up a steep technical section in Robertson's track. Uh, we came up at Twin Locked and we had somebody else along with us who we were helping out uh, in uh, Colorado and they failed to get up it so uh, they've now gone back and uh, we got to the top to find this absolutely magnificent view. Oh my god! Really? Yeah, we did a bit of... What did thinking. you hit? It must be just a... Uh, I bet it sounds great now. <laughs> mud over there. Um, which way is so easier? So, did you come in Bullock Link track? We were... That we one. Through that, track. that way is not easier. No? No. What about here? We haven't driven Haven't driven it yet. Okay. <laughs> How so that, that bit there, there's a really, really gnarly section in it. We had someone behind us, they couldn't get through it. Try to sing up. Okay. <laughs> Why do you mind I just follow you? Because I. Go for your life. <laughs> That's <laughs> fine. Sounds like this. Yeah. That was crazy. So, it came off. So, so is that a hard track or? Yeah. Well, that's where I, I bump into and I like disconnect it. Okay. Okay. Do you want to have a look underneath? Oh. <laughs> have you got lockers? 
I got lost. It's just. Oh, 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 oh. Lights on so we can see you, please. She was having a freak out there. <laughs> she was on the phone. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, note to self, that's not an easy drive. Well, you never know, right? I'd go right if I yeah, but not in the hole. Oh, in it now. No sweat, son. Well that was a bit of fun. Sure, what was over it? No, right. Just stay in the ruts. I gotta check you. Beautiful. Okay, so we wanna go straight. Hang on, does it have an arrow on it? Um, Robertson Creek. This way. This way. This yeah. is Robertson. <laughs> okay, do you want to stop here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's not bad. Nice. Oh, that was cool. That was a good deed. Yeah. Two good deeds for today. <laughs> I don't think we need a third though. No, I don't think so either. Let's hope we found a really cracking Day we've had, Dylan. <laughs> we ended up um, after Gentle Annie helping old mate in his Colorado tray back. He wanted to do a bit of four wheel driving, but he wasn't really equipped, so we gave him a helping hand, helped him air down. He didn't quite make it, so he got up the first section of Robertson track, and then we got to what was a fairly gnarly section of that track, and um, yeah, he failed to negotiate. He's <laughs> probably the best way to put it. And there was no way on no. earth he was going to get up it. We were twin locked and did it. Yeah. Um, and it was a gnarly drive. So he gave it a go. Good on him. He'd never done something like that before. So well done, mate. Um, and he turned around and went back. went back on his merry way. And, then, and he was going to air up his tyres to drive on fire right. after that. So. And then we got to the top of that hill and found some firewood. And then we found a man in a Jeep with his exhaust hanging off. And it was tied up underneath his Jeep, his Wrangler, with a very white, pristine looking shoelace. Good on him. He didn't have anything else to tie it up with. So we did the right thing, of course, and stopped him and his friend. Um, Glenn got underneath and disconnected the exhaust. And they put it in the boot. <laughs> they did put it inside. We so wanted to see it up, up on his um, rack up on top, but that didn't happen. Um, he had all the right tools to undo it, which was really cool. He was just missing a few supplies, but he was very, very grateful for a helping hand. And then he went on his merry way, and so did we. <laughs> oh, we stopped at the um, truck farm down at Nuji. 
that was awesome. Had a good chat to old mate down there. Watch some fresh trout and some smoked trout as we have done in the past. If you haven't been there before, check it out. You can even catch your own fish.